What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. You're most welcome here, stranger. Is there anything I might do to help you in your task? What exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. Well, I'm heading out in that direction anyway. What if I found some iron bark for you? I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Very well. I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. Now, could I barter with you? I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. All right. Let's relieve some of our inventory here. This little bar here lets you to compare items with what the various characters currently have equipped. Which is nice, because then you have a really quick idea as to whether or not uh, the item is worth keeping around. Don't have too much to sell. Hmm. Cayman gave us this book, but it's not listed as a gift. Hmm. I'll keep it around just in case. I'm not sure if you can actually use it for anything other than selling. Although it seems kind of a shame if it's a rare book. Alright, so we need to find either an, in an injured elf or a werewolf, depending on what really happened to that hunter's wife, and we need to find some iron bark. So, I think this is the right, yeah, this is the direction we want. And, uh, Actually, really quickly, I'll just show you. Uh, whenever you go to a new area and you happen to have Liliana in your party, you can actually ask her about the current area that you're in. Yes? What do you know of this place? People have always spoken of dark and mysterious woods haunted by beings unseen. The Brazilian forest is one such forest. They say the veil is thin here and spirits from the Fade pass over drifting through the trees and giving them an unnatural and sinister intelligence. It is said that if you feel you are being watched in the Brazilian forest, you are. <laughs> Not to make you paranoid or anything. Alright, let's move on. Okay. So, um, this brings this week's episode to a close and next week we will actually explore the forest and the uh, 
secrets that the uh, trees are hiding, even beyond that. We already have two quests um, that we need to fulfill in the forest, as well as our main concern, which is finding some way to cure the elves of the werewolf curse. And so, until next time, this is Vexus. See ya.